Good morning, guys. Hi, this is Spirit Journey. It's early in the morning. It's 1.19 a.m. in the morning. It's Monday, March 21st, 2017. A video just caught my eye. Actually, a series of videos by chance that I saw it. It was about immigration in Canada. The immigration from Canada, um, from China, primarily, and the rest of East Asia. Canada has a program that it will allow Chinese immigrants into the country to Vancouver if they have about $1.6 million net value, you know, net income worth. And what I find interesting about it is that their families are coming in, the children of these wealthy people are living it up. They are not embracing anything Chinese, but they are associated with their own. But they're living it up in a very Euro style way. A lot of bling, a lot of fancy homes, and the person that was narrating the, the program, you know, the documentary, was very contemptuous about what he sees happening. And that even though the value of the properties are going up, but the whites of Vancouver are angry. They're saying that the value, property values are going up, but that their children and this one family, white Vancouver family said, my daughter's a doctor and she's married to a doctor, but their income cannot pay for living in the suburbs of Vancouver and that no local money could afford to live in a house there that they'll be forced to rent because they cannot afford to buy. And, I, and, and it was amusing. I mean, I just found it just this first time I heard that type of thing in Canada, about Canada. And then another woman complained that she lived in this particular neighborhood for generations, her, her family. And she said, I'm happy that, yes, the property value and my house is worth over a million dollars now. I mean, I, I like that, but I don't like where where her community is going. She said that a lot of the houses where she lives are all bought, but no one lives in them. And that the Asians that are buying it, they're only buying it for an investment. And that they're just being, they're just holding the property, but not doing anything with it. And she, this white person from Vancouver is upset. And I think that person struck me the most interesting to listen to. It was amazing to hear that she, even though the whites are benefiting also off of the sale of the homes and that more money is coming into the city, 
for what's happening now that the city is not unaffordable for the whites that set up the rules for them to move in, for the East Asians to move into the city and into the country. And that even the French side of Canada had also a similar program, but they're leaving, they're not even staying there, at least my understanding, what, according to the, the documentary, this other one, that they're not even staying in Quebec. That, they, that they're supposed to spend $800,000 loan, you know, to take one out. That was the requirement. But it seemed to suggest that they're not even doing that, and they're just leaving. They, they're getting into the country and then leaving one location to for another. And that, I mean, it's just really weird. And then you have the old-time... Chinese that lived there for generations who are very ethnically Chinese and they are upset with the newcomers from mainland China because they're not embracing the culture and they're just, as he said, showing off that they have money and they're not going to Chinatown to um, socialize or anything. So I thought the it was just really interesting to to actually hear this with my own ears where Canada is changing and why Canada is changing. And I see the same thing happening in the United States. That the United States like New York City is doing the same thing. You have many people from East Asia. They're going to schools here and they're getting very good jobs. Some of them are starting their own businesses and they are the ones that are able to afford the fancy high-rise luxury buildings. I do not really see anyone else moving in these buildings and what New York City is coming into like blacks American blacks are being phased out in New York City Hispanics now are the largest minority group next to white people but these Hispanics aren't the ones moving into these luxury buildings but the East Asians and South Asians are the new groups that are going to live in the big city. The Hispanics are now going to be used as the next labor force. So no, so no longer will you see blacks, not Hispanics, but Hispanics to be the new physical labor and the brains and the wealth is going to be Asian and now you see whites usually white males that are marrying or associating now with East Asian so the whole culture or oh, and also the, a lot of the businesses I see are also from East Asia even though I'm in my block you see the people who are building the new stores, the really cute little stores that are being built now, are all East Asian. So the U.S. is going to change too, like Canada. It's just an eye-opener. And again, this is all by design. But I do wonder what Asia and the Arab world, what it would be like. And I wonder what Africa would be like black Africa who's going to buy that so that's all that I need to say and it's food for thought you can leave your comment below thank you again bye bye